Backwards compatibility has been a discussion I've been covering for some time now. So far, I've covered three different patents that focus on different aspects of backwards compatibility, and now there's another. When I first looked into this new patent, I thought I was investigating an old patent I've already covered, but after some research, I've come to see the distinction and also that this new patent was published days ago. Diving into this, and you're welcome to educate me in the comments below if you notice that I missed something, but the patent that I confused the new one with was the CPU core manipulation manipulation pattern which focused on convincing older games that they're running on their original hardware even though they're not. This new pattern titled backwards compatibility by algorithm matching disabling features or throttling performance focuses on the actual disabling of features on the CPU level to mimic older CPUs. The difference is that the CPU core manipulation pattern was about CPU ID spoofing while again this new one is about mimicking the features of older CPUs. What is CPU ID? A CPU ID is what software uses to identify the processor and what features it has. So the older patent was essentially about spoofing this ID to make older games think they're running on their original hardware. This new patent, and I'll have the image on screen, involves a processor that will identify if a game is old or new, and if it's old, it'll disable features to mimic the legacy CPU. In the end, this is all about backwards compatibility, and having covered a fourth patent on this topic, I would find it surprising if this feature is not in the PlayStation 5. Moving on from the backwards compatibility discussion, Sony is seizing the sales of PlayStation Network codes at retail. Not to get anyone confused here, this is about full game digital codes. It was leaked via a GameStop memo that reveals that after April 1st, Sony will stop the sales of full game digital codes to be sold anywhere, not only GameStop. So if you went on a website or went to a physical retail of your choosing and used to purchase digital codes from them, that's over come next month. They they do however state that they will still be honoring Days Gone and Mortal Kombat 11 pre-order codes for the first week of April. Not sure why these two specifically, but that's what's happening. They still will have on offer PSN cards to replenish your store wallet and DLC add-on content cards will still be sold. This could be signs that Sony is more invested in the digital age going forward or that Sony simply wants to have more control on digital sales. But do you think Sony will bring backwards compatibility to the PlayStation? 5 yes or no let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and if you did enjoy this video please hit that like button it really supports the page and i really appreciate it and subscribe if you're new i got new videos every other day except days there's something really interesting and i'll just post the video on that day i'll check you guys out on the next one and welcome back to the after show this is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below if you're old welcome back if you're new welcome up for today's thing what i want you guys to do is to body obliterate harass destroy incinerate <laughs> the comment section with still do it this is basically a sequel which we've never done to the last time we talked about backwards compatibility and i asked you guys to say do it so sony actually does backwards compatibility for the playstation 5 so for the first time ever on this channel we'll do we're doing a sequel to one of these so destroy the comment section with still do it and i'll definitely heart those comments like i always do because i appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my videos and now i'll check you guys out on the next one